Rodin, the sculptor, approaches drawing in a distinct manner compared to painters. While painters use lines or hatching techniques to compose their works, Rodin, regardless of his technique, aims to represent space and volume. Although this may perplex those accustomed to painters' drawings, Rodin remains true to his intention. His drawings, influenced by Dante and Baudelaire, are characterized by a romantic black style, using graphite pencil, pen, washes, brown ink, and touches of gouache. Rodin's process involves revisions, as he cuts and rearranges numerous drawings, revealing his sculptor's eye and his layering and corrections. His drawings contain silhouettes of the damned, projecting a sense of space. These techniques were not widely known until their publication in 1897, demonstrating Rodin's audacity and the evolving appreciation for his work. In addition to drawing, Rodin has a profound fascination with architecture throughout his life. He explores French cathedrals whenever possible, constantly sketching consoles, pilasters, and church moldings. Despite feeling he is among the last to study Romanesque and Gothic masterpieces, Rodin pays tribute to the modest monuments of the provinces. With a pencil in hand, he tirelessly investigates the interplay of light and shadow on stone, seeking prominent forms and reliefs. Although he faces challenges in practicing architecture professionally, Rodin aims to uncover the secrets of anonymous builders from the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Rodin's drawing style evolves in the 1890s, becoming more modern and less comprehensible to his contemporaries. The human body, previously portrayed in a genderless manner, gradually becomes his primary subject. His drawings gain confidence, breadth, light, and serenity. Rodin captures movement, attitude, and gesture, prioritizing overall expression over meticulous details. He draws inspiration from Japanese artists and their emphasis on capturing the essence rather than obsessing over specific elements. Using a single stroke of the graphite pencil, accompanied by thumb-shaped forms created with a stump or watercolor washes, Rodin gives depth and volume to his two-dimensional figures, translating his sculptural perception onto the sheet. He creates the illusion of seated or reclining women without the need for visible chairs or beds, keeping the focus on the figures themselves. This approach aligns with the artistic preferences of the era. Rodin occasionally cuts out silhouettes to convey relief, showcasing his unique touch as a sculptor. Whereas a painter applies pressure to express, a sculptor takes a different path. Rodin's collection of nearly 10,000 drawings, of which 80 are featured, provides insight into his artistic vision. Appreciating his work goes beyond surface interpretations. Rodin, the symbolist, invites us to delve deeper into his drawings, guiding us through his unique artistic journey.